Hi, welcome to the channel, budget audio review and upgrades. Today I'll be looking at this little Noob Sound mini uh, amplifier, Bluetooth amplifier they call it as well. And this is the uh, NS uh, Stroke 01G Pro 2 channel wireless Bluetooth digital power amplifier to give it its full title. Okay, um, and I'll be pitting it up against mainly this Sansui, kind of giving a comparison. Uh, I'm probably going to, you know, you're going to straight away think that's a bit unfair. A uh, little thing like this against a big thing like this, but uh, you know, bear with me and um, we'll bring this into it just a little bit. Uh, this little Rotel uh, receiver that I've got, and you know, generally talking about probably uh, amplifiers and receivers that you're going to find over the car boot and uh, on eBay and second hand shops, and that how would they probably compare to this as well? Um, the reason I bought this is more curiosity, really. Uh, I'm always floating about on eBay, uh, I'm on Facebook Marketplace uh, in the UK, we've got another one called Gumtree. And there's Spock, and there's quite a few like different places, and obviously in America and other places around the world, you've got your own like uh, outlets of places to go and pick up things, flea markets, Craigslist, all them kind of places. And so it's mainly curiosity, you know, when you search and you put amplifier in, this keeps on popping up somewhere along on one of the pages. It's a pop up, and uh, you know, then all of a sudden it caught me eye, and I thought, well, let's have a look what the reviews say. And it got, you know, looking at all the reviews everywhere, it got quite a good little write up for what it is. So I thought, oh, maybe I should just get one, just for the fun of it, really, just to see what it's all about, and maybe just stick it on the channel as well. So uh, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to show you uh, exactly what was inside the box. Okay, so let's have a look. I've took most of the stuff out of the box. It comes in this little box here, a uh, little square box. It's got an insert as well, and all these items I'm going to show you now are actually inside. I've took them all out because they're, they're all wrapped up in uh, cellophane and plastic bags, etc. and um, you don't want to see me opening all them. Basically... Uh, I bought the one without the uh, power supply because I've got tons of these power supplies laying around the house. Uh, I will talk about the power supply in a minute. And this one here, I think, cost me roughly £25. So that'd probably be about £30, uh, US dollars, something like that. Uh, obviously, you get the little unit itself, the little... Uh, we'll go over it all in, uh, shortly, but you get the little amplifier unit itself. It's not very big at all. You get uh, this adapter here, which is a 3.5mm jack to a 3.5mm jack that will plug into there. And you probably you could plug that into your mobile phone or something like that, MP3 player, if you didn't want to use the Bluetooth function. You get your little um, adapter here, which would plug into, uh, if, if you've got one with it, uh, the power supply, uh, the plug-in power supply, pretty similar to one you get with a mobile phone, but obviously rated a lot higher, hand pitch wise and that would plug into the unit there to power it. But you know, if you've got a power supply yourself that's kind of got this USB adapter, then that would come in handy if you didn't have that lead. Uh, you get this lead here, which is a 3.5 millimeter jack to a phono, or RCA cable, that would plug in there, and that would plug in to something with an RCA cable, etc. And you get the usual manual, which is in English and one other language on the, on the other side. Now, the power adapter I'm actually using, I'll just show you this quickly. Uh, like I say, these power adapters can be quite expensive. Um, I say quite expensive. They could be like, um, ranging from eight pound, right up to about uh, 20 pound, something like that, I think they were. I've got them all written down here, so I'll go over them. But basically, this runs between nine volts. If we look at the back, hopefully you can see it. Uh, I'll take a picture of it anyway. Uh, that's up on the screen. Now this runs from nine volts to 24 volts and um, they, they recommend from two amp up to five amps. So I've got 12 volt, quite a lot of them, 12 volt adapters. Uh, and the particular one I've got here is uh, a switch mode. It's not an every one, it's a switch mode power supply they're called. And this one here is rated at three amps and it's rated at 12 volts at three amps. So that's the one I'm gonna use to power the unit but obviously if you get a 24 volt one the top of it you know go up 24 volts and 5 amps that would cost you about 20 pounds so that you know, it's quite expensive so the unit 25 and another 25 uh, sorry another 20 pound for that adapter would bring it up to 45 pound um if you've got the bottom of the range uh, just a 12 volt at 2 amp they're about eight pounds on ebay so that would bring it up to about 33 pound and i think this sells for about 35 pound with a 2 amp power supply already in the box so to speak so you know just a little bit about the power supply there um i've done my test like i say with this 12 volt 3 amp power supply and i think that's fair enough it's going to give a, you know, a reasonable representation of how this sounds uh, obviously not going to go as loud as it probably did power wise it's probably going to be half the power maybe just a bit under than it could probably go up to but it's still going to give me a fair idea and i'm not going to have this on loud anyway it's only for the computer room. I've tried it downstairs here on this table, but it's really going to be for a computer room, bedroom, something like that. that you're probably going to use this for. I will give some, uh, you know, maybe some suggestions that maybe you want to use this for. Okay, so we we'll just go over the unit very quickly. Uh, there, there at the back or front, or where you want to call it, is where the power supply plugs in. 
uh, and you've got your speaker terminals here. I mean, they made a quite a good job here with these screws. You can put a banana plug in there as well, or your wire, and screw them quite tight. I mean, they've done it, you know, it looks, it looks the part, so to speak, you know, uh, on these screw terminals here for the speakers. If we go around the front, uh, we've got the auxiliary in, uh, you've got your on off to turn it on and off, and you've got USB sound, which you can plug a little USB stick, but it would have to have an adapter because this is like a mini USB. Uh, so you could plug into that and play some tracks off of uh, a USB uh, stick, etc., or file or whatever. Um, I, I didn't actually try that. I tried the Bluetooth, uh, which links up straight away. It comes up uh, Noob Sound or NS Sound, something like that, and you just you know pair it up as you normally would any other Bluetooth device. Uh, I did try it with that. And I tried it with auxiliary in as well for a CD player. I haven't tried any vinyl with it. I just use a CD player to give it the test. Okay, before I actually go on to the sound, I just want to tell you a little bit about the build quality. It, it feels really nicely built. You know I mean? It, it doesn't feel cheaply made at all. It feels quite sturdy, strong. This volume control is very smooth and nice. It's got a nice tactile touch to it. You know, it's all done very well. These screw terminals, everything about it feels good quality. So that, we're off to a good start there this little very small footprint amplifier now i'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas you probably you know you've come here you've got a good idea what you're going to use it for anyway but a few ideas i thought you could use this for obviously you could have a little desktop pair of speakers uh, connected up to your uh, pc or something like that a pair like this two of them and this connected up and plugged into your back of your pc uh, obviously use it as a bluetooth you could have your phone you can just have it on your desk and just have the volume there. Another idea maybe, if you've got a pair of speakers, something like this, is just get a double-sided pad and actually put it on the back. Uh, and then you just have your two wires or your one cable, twin cable going to this speaker and another one running to your next speaker, wherever that is, and your power adapter plugging in on top. And you could connect up your phone, Bluetooth, something like that, or um, you know, have their RCA cable come out, connecting up to a CD player or something like that. So you could kind of hide it a little bit uh, and just have an odd cable coming out there. Um, there's quite a few things. Obviously, you could use this for your TV. You could connect this up to your TV. Um, just fairly simple, really. It's just plug the uh, RCA into there. If you've got a, Bluetooth, a TV with Bluetooth, like one of the latest ones with Bluetooth, obviously, you could actually link this up via Bluetooth to your TV and uh, do it that way. But if you haven't, um, I've got a video. I've put a link at the top now, which will show you four different ways of connecting these RCA cables uh, to a TV, uh, any TV really, I would have said. Okay, so uh, there's a few ideas maybe why you'd use this. Okay, so um, let's talk about how this sounded. Now, somebody who's maybe just be buying this for uh, connect for the Bluetooth part of it, thinking I've got one of these old receivers and um, you can't connect Bluetooth to one of these or any amplifier, so to speak. Uh, what well, you can do, you can get little Bluetooth adapters that are plug in these through the uh, RCA sockets, so you can make these Bluetooth compatible. And I've actually got a video, I'll do a link at the top now which actually shows you how to use the back sockets. If you've got somebody who's like switched and unswitched uh, sockets at the back of these amplifiers, you can actually plug in the Bluetooth adapter and other items into the back of that, and that video will show you how to do that. Um, okay, so uh, I used a 12 volt, two amp, no, I didn't, a 12 volt, three amp power supply on this. And I think most of you probably can use a 12 volt, two amp power supply because they're more common um, with this. And I would say don't, Go, if you buy this, I don't think it's worth going and get the 24 volt 5 amp power supply, even though it's going to give you more wattage. Um, this is not going to run your living room like a pair of speakers in your living room and blast it out like a disco. This is like for a smaller room. I mean, it's got quite a bit of welly to it. I was quite surprised. But um, yeah, you know, that that 5, uh, five amp power supply at 24 volts is probably going to cost you £20, which is near enough the same as what you just paid for your amplifier, when the other one's about £8 here in the UK. Um... Okay, so yeah, I, 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 when I turn it, I'm trying to get how many watts. They rated this at 50 watts per channel. Obviously, that's 24 volts at 5 amp. Um, I'm guessing that that power supply I got, which was 3 amp, uh, 12 volts. Going by this at 15 watts a channel, and kind of judging volume wise only, I think this is about using that my power supply about 10 watts, somewhere around there, 10 or 12 watts maybe. Um, so yeah, I should imagine that 12 volt at 2 amps, we're going to give you about 8 watts, something like that, I would have said. Uh, it's still ample for what you're going to use it for, I think. Um, now, I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty how this sound is, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to offend anyone that's already got one of these or anything like that, but I just want to tell you how that it compared to uh, an iFi, uh, even though bottom of the range, but bottom of the range iFi amplifier and receiver, and don't forget these are 50 years old. And, you know, a lot of people say that these older items sound nicer 
they're made better and they've got a bit more punch to a newer item. But don't forget, you know, there's, you know, it's everyone's opinion is different. Whatever. I, no, I like these, and this sensory gets a really good like review right up and praised wherever you look on the internet, really. So maybe a bit unfair considering this is 25, 33 pound with the power supply, and this retails between 80 and 100 pound on eBay, something like that. So a little bit unfair, but I just wanted to give you a contrast in the two different sounds. Obviously, a very small footprint, a very big footprint. Now I'm going to compare it directly against this sensor. This comes in somewhere around, you know, a little bit lower kind of thing compared wise, but not a lot uh, compared to this anyway. So you'll get the idea of what I'm saying uh, as I go along. Uh, when I compare the two, like I say, when you first turn this on, you, you're fairly pleasantly surprised and it gets lots of good reviews and you can see, you know, you can probably have an idea why people think, oh, that's quite good for what it is, you know what I mean? Five out of five. But when you compare it to this, this sounds dull. This sounds dull. I mean, I'm, I've got a few words. I'm just going to shout them out as I see it. This sounds dull. It sounds, no, no detail really, no detail. There was no clarity in it. It sounded mushy. It sounded flat. You know, everything sounded flat. Well, this, you know, this is like a two, you know, watching a normal TV, like a flat screen, 2D picture. And you've got a 3D film on, but it's just showing you 2D. And all of a sudden you turn the 3D on when you turn this amplifier. You know, it's giving you a massive, bigger, bigger dimension, definitely a bigger dimension. Um, the bass was flabby. You know, I'm not saying really flabby, but it was flabby. The bass, you know, I'm being critical here, connecting up for three different pairs of speakers. I connected this and this up to. And they weren't expensive speakers. They're the two Celestians that I just uh, reviewed uh, recently, the uh, DL4s and the uh, Celestian 3s, and also uh, Morden Shaw 25Is. They're the three speakers I connected this up to, uh, and, and, and the amplifier. Uh, the eyes don't go as high as this do, that's for certain. Uh, the vocals are very laid back. The old tone of it's kind of laid back. Like I say, it's got no dimension to it at all, really. Uh, but it still sounded okay, you know what I mean? It sounded mushy. But it sounded okay, you know what I mean? You, you know, the, I bought this because there's been a few reviews on uh, YouTube, these reviewers that get five or six or ten of these and line them up and they kind of tell you which is the best one. And this kind of finishes in the top three of all them reviews, this little amplifier here. And on a couple of them, I think it actually finished first. So that's the reason I bought this. I didn't want to spend too much money. I didn't want to spend £50 on one in a power supply. Well, I've got a power supply, but a £50 one. Because you're coming up to pretty much what you could maybe buy this top one for or definitely buy the top one for. So I didn't want to go that far, just wanted to, you know, matter of curiosity, give this one a go. Now when you talk about this, this has got fine, nice detail, it's got space, it's got dimension, it's got a tight base, it's got clarity, it's, 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 it's so much sharper than this. I mean, this is like having an 8-bit sound, you know, obviously I'm exaggerating a bit here, but this is like an 8-bit sound, and this is like a 32-bit sound, you know what I mean? It gets so much more clarity, you know, it's, it's sharp, it's clarity, 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 where well, this isn't, like, you know what I mean? You can still hear, you know, the drums and the eye and stuff like that don't get me wrong but it's it's like not clear it's not detailed you know it's unfocused kind of thing that kind of detail so you know you know I'd, it's got its place what i would say this has got its place if you've got a very small you know you need something with a small footprint you just want something cheap you know what i mean you're going to be happy enough with it i think if you're not looking for a hi-fi sound you know what i mean not looking for a tons of detail and all that you're not sitting back and you want all the clarity you just want a bit of music to relax to or listen to or your youtube videos to listen to or your cd when you get home just to turn on and link up with this bluetooth for a couple little pair of speakers what i will say is don't uh i don't know if i just mentioned it but don't buy any thick cables or special cables because this all looks nice and you know i think oh this is really nice and solid i better get yourself some decent any cable to do because that cable isn't going to improve the sound at all uh don't buy any expensive speakers because no matter how good the speakers are, you know, if you're putting a bad sound, you know, what's that bad, you know, not a great sound, shall I say, coming out, the speakers ain't going to make no difference, they're not suddenly going to make something, you know, not so good, unbelievably good, it's not going to happen. So, you know, keep it real, keep within you know, the budget you've got kind of thing, you know, this is 25, been 20 pound on a pair of speakers, something like that, don't go mad kind of thing. Um, so that's it, you know. Now you're going to think, I'm going to say, you know, I can't recommend it. Well, I can, I can recommend it, you know what I mean? It's, it's not one of these items, you know, then again, I get one myself, I don't really recommend it. I do recommend it, you know, if you're looking for, like, a little cheap setup, uh, we're not too, like, say, fussed about clarity and all that. You just want to sound, you, you know, you just, you're going to turn it on and forget about it and just listen away. It's going to sound better than, uh, say, your TV speakers, if you've just got a normal, you know, if you're connecting this up to your TV, if you've got a, a flat screen, five or six hundred pound, Get this and two speakers. It's going to sound better than them. It's not going to sound better than maybe some sandbars. I've got an Anoki sandbar that was about three hundred pound with a subwoofer. 
and uh, it doesn't sound as good as them with any speakers I connected up. That's for somebody, it won't do. I, I know it won't. I've tried one pair to be honest with you, but I know it's not going to sound, I could tell straight away it's not going to sound as good as the uh, Anoki soundbar. Not that that sounds unbelievably fantastic, isn't you know, it's nowhere as good as this amplifier and a pair of speakers, that's for certain, but you know, it still sounds uh, better than this. And this is where I'm bringing this uh, Rotel. Um, you know, it's not quite as good as this bottom amplifier, that's for certain, but it still sounds nice and it still sounds a lot, lot better than this. Uh, and I think anything you buy over a car boot or charity shop or anything like that for £20 or something like an old second-hand amplifier uh, connected up to a pair of speakers, they're going to sound better than this. It's going to sound better than this. But don't forget, you're talking about footprints, uh, how big it is, how much space you got. And, uh, you know, some people may think, you know, a lot of people you know, kind of think some of these are ugly, they're old-fashioned, they're 50 years old, but you can still go over to car boot and buy something maybe 10 or 20 years old, one of these uh, AV units or something like that, as long as it's working, it's going to give a better sound than this. But all in all, like I say, it's got its place, uh, you know, and I still recommend it, uh, definitely recommend it, but don't go mad buying all these accessories, special leads for it, uh, dear speaker leads, dear interconnection cables and beefier power supplies i don't think it's worth it just stick you know low as possible and i think you'll be pretty happy with it okay uh i've had a request for someone i did do a video i had to connect up a, a tv uh to your av system or amplifying speaker so to speak uh someone's asked me a projector and that's pretty much the same really but i will bring that projector out in fact i've got three or four projectors i think around the house and uh, maybe just do a little video about how to connect one of them up and also just a general chit chat and uh, talk about video projectors that may interest some of you. I know it's an audio channel really, but I'll get that out of the way and I haven't got to worry about it then. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon on my next video.